our first diver in this Italian Open Diving Championship is Antonio Volpe. That's a good somersault, one and one half return pike with difficulty of 2.4. Great job. We are using Google Lens Translator for this. The entry is beautiful and it has a good vertical lines. Next diver. This is Antonio Volpe. Next diver that we have here is Antonio Santoro. Good job. Matteo Santoro of Italy. So this is an Italy Open Diving Championship. Matteo Santoro got 59.8. In his total score, Stefano Bilotti, the favorite of YouTube. Stefano Bilotti will do a double double somersault and one in one half back in group position with difficulty of 3.0. Good job for Stefano Bilotti. This is his debut as a senior diver. Stefano Bilotti got 63.0 score. In that dive, we have here Matteo Cafero with double somersault and one half uh, return in group with difficulty of. Uh, it wasn't. Um, anyways. <laughs> Great job for that dive. We are watching this uh, Italian Open Diving Championship that happened in Torino, Italy last April 4, 2023. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel if you are liking this kind of content. Matteo Cafero got 55.8 score. Andre Rejutek is our next diver. He will do a somersault of one half return to the flight pike position, difficulty of 2.9 in his dive. Andre Rejutek. It's a good dive for Andre. Good vertical line for Resotec. From Poland, he got 60.9. Of course, we have here also from Poland, Kasper Lesiak. He will do a double somersault and one half the turn in group difficulty. 3.1 difficulty. Great job. That tack position is very good. Good job. 
The duck is good and good vertical lines. Kasper Lesek of Poland got 69.7 score. We have here an Italian diver, Francesco Porco. He will do a double somersault in one half forward in pipe with difficulty of... Uh, oh, that's a great job. My position is good and also a good entry. Francesco Porco got 58.5 score. From Italy, we have here Lorenzo Marsaglia. We'll do a double somersault and one half return turn in a group with difficulty of 3.1. Lorenzo Marsaglia. That's a good tack position and the entry is beautiful also. Beautiful dive. The entry is beautiful there. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share to this channel. Lorenzo got 74.4 score. Another Italian diver, Giovanni Tocci, will do a double somersault and one half forward in pike difficulty of 2.6. Good job for Giovanni Tocci. That's great. Giovanni Tocci got 65 points to score. Italian diver Antonio Volpe. In his uh, second dive, will do a double somersault and one half mm, back holster and group difficulty of 3.0. Good job, that's a good job. The attack position is good. Antonio Bolte got what's that score? 80.9. Next diver, we have Adriano Rosla Christophers. We'll have a somersault on and a one half back in pike position with difficulty of 2.3. He got 20 point, 102.5, oh my god, it's hard to read. An Italian diver, Matteo Santoro, will do a double somersault and one and one half twist with pike position. Difficulty 3.2. That's good. Very good job for Matteo Santoro. Great job for Matteo Santoro here. He got 127.0 score. Stefano Belotti. 
mezzo rovesciato a Van Gorpato per il suo secondo tuffo di giornata. The attack is good, but there is a little bit of deviation in the left of his legs during the entry. Stefano Bilotti got 114 points here score. Matteo Caffero will do a double somersault with one half um, twist in a pipe position with difficulty of 3.2. Oh. A little bit problematic in that dive. Matteo Cafero got 100.6 score. From Poland, we have here Andrej Rezotek will do a double somersault and one half return group with difficulty of 3.1. Good job! Beautiful entry. Matteo Cafero got 126.0 score. They have a bit difficult scoring here. That's a great three and a half somersault. Oh, but a little bit problematic on the entry. This is our next diver from Italy. Kasper Leszczak. From Poland, I will go and get 114 75. Francesco Porco will do a 3.2 level of difficulty. Good job for his double somersault with one half twist and in pike position with 3.2 depth difficulty. Francesco Porco got 124.10 score from the judges. They are using difficult scoring here, uh, different scoring. Lorenzo Marsaglia of Italy will do a somersault and one half reverse with two springs and one half free difficulty 3.0. Great job for that difficulty of 3.0. Lorenzo Malagsaia got 137.4 score. Resta comunque al comando con questo 60, 63 forte del 74 e 40 del primo tuffo. Giovanni Tocci. We have here Giovanni Tocci. We do a double somersault with one half twist in pipe position with difficulty of 3.2. The 
that's a very good dive for Giovanni Tocci. Giovanni Tocci got 132.2 score. Antonio Volpe of Italy will have a somersault with one half reverse, with two uh, twist and one half in free difficulty 3.0. Great job! The legs are not good during the entry. Leg separation also. He got Antonio Volpe got 149.4 score or 49.4 score from the judges. Adriano Russo Christopher. Good job for Adriano Rosla Cristofori. Get 3.0 level of difficulty in that dive, and that is double somersault with one half reverse group. Adriano got 62.05 score. Matteo Santoro will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Perfect. Such a great job for Matteo Santoro. He did three three pole somersault and one half forward group. That's 3.0 level of difficulty. Great job, Matteo Santoro. He got 73.5 score in that dive. Stefano Velotti. Stefano Velotti will have 3.2 level of difficulty. Very good job for Stefano Velotti. He got double somersault spin with command Corpato. <laughs> Corpato. We are using a Google Lens here. That's why the translations are not that accurate. Stefano Bilotti got 86.0 score in that dive. Matteo Caffero of Italian. Italy in his third dive will do a triple somersault and one half forward group. Difficulty of 3.0. Mateo Cafero. Whoa! This is a great evolution of the tack position. The tack position and revolutions are enormously beautiful. Matteo Caffiero got 71.1 score in that dive. Andrei Resotek of Poland. A little bit some problematic with the 3.0 level of difficulty. What he did is triple somersault with one half forward group. Oh, there is still leg separation upon the entry. Andre Resotek got 80.0 in that dive. From Poland, Kasper Lesia. Great job!
Casper Lechak got 73.25 in that dive. Francesco Porco in his third dive will have a double somersault and one half um, turns in group difficulty 3.1. Francesco Porco. Oh, there's a little bit problematic in the vertical line upon the entry. He can work on with that. Francesco Porco got 86.1 score in that dive. Lorenzo Marsaglia will have a double somersault and one half back hoster in group difficulty of 3.0. Good job for Lorenzo Marsaglia. He just opened very early. He got 95.9 score. Why is scores are like that? I cannot understand why the scores are very high. In spite of not that uh, perfect entry. Giovanni Tocci will have a double jump. Mortal and one half backwards in a group difficulty of 3.0. Oh, although there's a little bit problem in his vertical lines upon the entry. He opened up very early. Got 90.7 scores. All in all, total. We have Antonio Volpe, 2.3 level of difficulty. Good job for Antonio Volpe. Antonio Volpe got 44.85 score in that dive. Adrian Adriano will have 3.1 level of difficulty. Good job for his double somersault, one half turns a group, but the just the speed is not that fast. Adriana got a good score there. We have Mateo Santoro here. We'll have 3.0 level of difficulty in his fourth dive. Oops! One whole point deduction for that for Mateo Santoro. Very unusual for Mateo Santoro. Good job for Mateo Santoro. But he will have one whole point deduction for that. Mateo Santoro got 45 points your score in that dive. 
Stefano Bilotti will have triple somersault with one half forward group. Great job for the 3.0 level of difficulty. Stefano Bilotti. His stocks are good. Good entry also. Stefano Bilotti got 58.5 score in that dive. Mateo Cafero will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, that's a double and jump summer mortal with one half back. You get 3.0 level of difficulty there. 43.5 is his score. Andre Rositek will have a 200 um, 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, that's a good double somersault with one half. Back, back with difficulty of 3.0. He's from Poland and he got 57.0 score in that dive. Kasper Leszak will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, good job for his double somersault with one half back bulk. Somersaults are good and there's no leg separation. Very good. Leshak is he had a good, good score there. Francesco Porco will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Good job for Francesco Porco. That's a good triple somersault with one half reverse. Lorenzo Maragsalia is the next one. He'll have 3.0 level of difficulty and his double somersaults in one half back and group position. Good job for Lorenzo Maragsalia of Italy. He gets score here, 61.5 total score for Lorenzo Maragsalia. Fourth dive of Giovanni Tocci with a 3.0 level of difficulty. The taxes are good. He has a good entry there. The vertical line is very beautiful for his entry. He got 55.5 score for Giovanni Tocci in that dive. Antonio Volpi of Italy will have 2.6 level of difficulty. Double somersault with one half forward pike 
position. Great job for Antonio Volte. Very clean dive. He got 54.6 score in that dive. Antonio Adriano Cristofori will have 3.0 level of difficulty. The attack is good. Very fast revolution. Great job. And the entry is beautiful also. Adriano Stofori got 45.0 in that dive. Matteo Santoro, the love of YouTube community, he will do a double somersault with one half turns in group position. 3.1 level of difficulty. Oh, is it a missed dive? Yeah, there's a leg separation. Mateo Santoro got 55.8 in that dive. Stefano Bilotti in his fifth dive. 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, so nice for that somersault with one half reverse. With double twisting and one half free. Great job for Stefano Bilotti, that's 3.0 level of difficulty. Got 60.0 score in that dive. Very young, Matteo Cafero on his fifth dive. 3.0 level of difficulty for uh, double somersault and one half. Bachholzer in group position. 3.0 level of difficulty. The tuck is good, but he just opened very early. We consider it's a missed dive. Got 58.5 score in that dive. Just attack. Oh, a lot of leg separation. Very evident. That is 3.0 level of difficulty. That is good. That is double somersault with one half back holster with group. Resutek got 55.5 score. Another man from Poland, Kasper Leszak. That is 2.6 level of difficulty in his double somersault with one half forward pike position. Francesco Porco, 3.0 level of difficulty. Good job for that dive. It's forward is good. The jump. And the attack positions are enormously beautiful. Francesco Porco got 64.5 in his score. Lorenzo Marsalia will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in his fifth dive. Uh, 
good job for that dive for Lorenzo Maragsalia. Lorenzo Maragsalia got 73.5 in that dive. Giovanni Tocci in his 5th dive will have 3.0 level of difficulty in this triple somersault with one half forward group. Oh, what kind of revolutions are that? It's amazing. Good job. Giovanni Tocci got 76.5 score in that dive. We are now on the last round. Antonio Volte will have 3.0 level of difficulty. We'll do a triple somersault with one half forward in group. The attack positions are good and the entry is beautiful. Great dive for Antonio Volpe of Italy. The revolution is amazing. He got 54.0 score there. Adriano Cristofori will have 3.2 level of difficulty. Oh, that is a double somersault in one half twist with a difficult pike twist. Not that straight pike position. He got 46.4 score in that dive. Matteo Santoro, the favorite of YouTube community, will have a 2.3 level of difficulty in his somersault with one half back pike. Oh, good job! Not that very difficult dive, but it's very clean. Very clean dive and secure dive for Matteo Santoro. Matteo Santoro got 41.4 score in that dive. Stefano Bilotti, the most searchable name in YouTube for men's diving. Amazing job for Stefano Bilotti. Great job for Stefano Bilotti, 73.1 score. Matteo Cafero will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in his last dive. Great job, it's also a beautiful dive for Cafero. Mm. 
very high jump for Cafero. The twistings are good and the entry is not that perfect vertical line but it's fine. 67.5 for Mateo Cafero. Rizutek of Poland. Oh, such great dive. Those combinations of dives are well executed. Good score, pretty 6.0 for Resetech. Kasper Leszczak of Poland, 3.2 level of difficulty. Miss double somersault with one half twist. And that is a good pike position. Not that perfect vertical line, but it's fine. 51.2 score. Francesco Porco of Italy, 3.0 level of difficulty for his last dive. Double somersault with one half back in group. Good job! A little bit missed dive for me. 36.0 score. Lorenzo Maragsalia will have a 3.2 level of difficulty in his last dive. Good job for the rest of Mark Salia there. There's a problem in his rotation. 72.0 score. Very great job for the rest of Mark Salia. Giovanni Tocci, one of Italy's finest diver, will have a 3.1 level of difficulty. He has a good medals also in European games. Double somersault with one half and return. Twist. In group positions. What an amazing finish for Giovanni Tocci here. Good vertical lines. One meter dive. He got 74.4 score there. Giovanni Tocci. The one meter dive is very difficult for you to form in the vertical lines. It's a very big challenge. These are the classified score after the sixth. The awarding ceremony. Stefani Bilotti on the bronze medal position. Great job, Stefani Bilotti. And we have here. The silver medal for Giovanni Tocci. And Lorenzo Maragsalia, Italy's um, gold medal. And this happened last April 21, 2023. Thank you very much for watching the Men's Diving 2023 series. So gold medal for Lorenzo Maragsalia, 402.9 score. Giovanni Tocci, 397.10 score. And Stefano Bilotti, 375.8 score.
che adesso tra poco.